welcome back to another edition of Gray Hair and Tattoos. My name is Lonnie and today we're going to do something a little different but absolutely a lot of fun. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at an article that I found that really intrigued me. Now the article is from Who What Where and here's what caught my eye. It says, nine styling tricks that make fall outfits noticeably more chic. And instantly I'm like, yeah, you know what? I can always use some tricks. I can always use some tips. I thought it would be a lot of fun if we looked at them together and I'm actually gonna try some of them out. So make sure you like and follow and let's see what these nine styling tricks are all about. Before we start really quick, I do wanna let you know that I have some shoppable links for you. So if you see anything you like, just check out the links below. Let's get started and check out that first styling trick. So the first one we're gonna take a look at is tie your sweater around the waist over your dress. Super cute. I absolutely love this style. I think it does add just a little something to the dress. I took a animal print slip dress, I added some cute boots, and then I took just a lightweight sweatshirt and I tied it around my waist. But then I'm like, okay, if I'm out and about and I'm cold, that sweatshirt, again, is gonna be on me. So here's what it looks like styled actually wearing the sweater. Yes, it's a really cute trend. How practical it is, I guess it really depends on where you live, but it is cute. Next one is add calf length socks. Love this. I have been watching Bella Hadid wear these white slouchy socks with the chunky loafers and I could not be more about this. Now I do like the white sock look because I think it is really bold and it stands out with those black chunky loafers. And I've been saying this for a long time also, but socks are a great way to start your exploration of self-expression. If you're out there and you're like, yeah, you know what? I wanna start dressing a little bit bolder, a little bit brighter, start with some crazy socks. They're totally in, pull them up to your calf and just have some fun. The next one is style a mini skirt with a maxi coat. I really like the contrasting of the short mini skirt with the really long coat. You will find out, and we're gonna be talking about this a little bit more, but I love contrasting items, whether it's patterns or textures. So look into getting yourself either a mini skirt or a mini dress. You can wear them with those white socks and the chunky loafers. You throw a maxi coat over the top of that and you've got yourself a stand out, really cute fall outfit. Moving on, here's layer of vest over your blazer. And I like, ooh, I wanna try this one. So what I decided to do is I took my free people vest and I put it over the top of my Top Shop blazer. I gotta tell you, this one's cute. This one is definitely stand out, kind of like, wow, you know what? She's wearing her vest on the outside. That's really cool. I think I wanna try that. Again, it's just a way of elevating your outfit to just, you know what, like, like the article said, stand out and be a little chic. But look into getting a little bit more of an oversized vest and put it on top of your blazer. I think this is super cute. I'll be wearing it and I thought it was a lot of fun. Belting your skirt and then even better with two belts. Yes, 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 and yes. On a recent video, I actually had on a long animal print skirt and I had worn a belt with it. And I'm like, oh, honey, that's really cool. You got that trend and I didn't even know I did. Now I've been watching my fashion icon, Bella Hadid, and she's been double belting. Now the last couple of weeks that I've seen articles on her, she's definitely rocking those double belts. So I decided to try it out with the outfit I'm wearing right now. It is a very fun, easy, kind of edgy trend to try. My belts don't even match, and I think that makes it even cooler and trendier. So go into your closet, grab two different belts, put one up higher, put one lower, and just have fun with this new trend. And the next one is tritonal layering. I absolutely love wearing tonal outfits. As you can tell, I have on my orange sweater and this cute little orange top. I think it's a really very chic, kind of classy way to wear your colors. Am I totally sold on having to have three pieces? Absolutely not. 
I mean, if I run across um, an outfit where I can have a gray long sleeve with a gray vest and a gray sweater or jacket over the top, sure, I'll wear it. Am I gonna go out of my way to find that third piece? Absolutely not. But if you have three things out there and you wanna put them all together, you know what, by all means, do it. You know what, if you have four pieces that you can wear, wear all four pieces. Just keep in the tonal trend, and I personally say, have as many pieces in that as you want. Don't get stuck on the number. Then we're moving on to clashing prints. I, I can't even tell you how long I've been telling you to mix patterns. I wear camouflage pants and flowered shirts. I have striped pants and polka dotted sweaters. I absolutely love clashing prints. And I hear all the time, oh, you know what, it looks so cute, but I just don't have the confidence to wear it. Here's my suggestion for you, is buy a piece that already has the mixed patterns. So that way you're not sitting there self doubting yourself like, ooh, can I mix this print with that print? Because as far as I'm concerned, you can mix and match any print you want. And I gotta tell you, once you start mixing patterns or clashing prints, there's no going back. The next one is pair a relaxed button down with sequins. I saw this and I was instantly in love. I saw this and I was instantly like, wow, I have to recreate this outfit. This has to be something that I'm wearing. I'm actually going to rebuild this outfit. This is an outfit that I want in my closet. I'm going to be wearing my Durango boots. I found this top shop skirt. I need an oversized black blazer and a blue top. I am so excited. I cannot wait to get the remaining items. So look into just mixing, mixing vibes, dressy, casual, soft, hard. Just have fun experimenting. And again, I can't wait to get everything all together so I can show you my take on this amazing outfit. Then we come to add long gloves to casual knits. I gotta tell you right here now, I didn't even try to recreate this one. For me, there's just so many things about this that don't fit in my aesthetics that I'm like, hmm, I don't like it and I'm not gonna try it. And then it made me think like, wow, you know what? Just that last one I'm all super excited about and I can't wait to recreate it. You know, I swipe up my phone and all of a sudden I'm like, hmm, I don't like it. And that's the beauty about fashion. That is the beauty about style. Because I can be out there and I can be like, wow, this is great. And you can be like, mm, okay, Lonnie, whatever. You like it, that's, that's your opinion. But it's about you finding what makes you excited. Find those outfits that when you see them, you're all like, ooh, I can't wait to wear that. Or, ooh, I can't wait to recreate that. Look for that vibe and find your wow moment. Long sleeves with a knit dress just is not my wow moment. The last one is drape a sweater over your blazer. To me, I was like, mm, I'm neither here nor there. I definitely like the vest over the blazer much more than the sweater. To me, it's like, uh, I don't really wanna worry about my sweater moving or having to make sure it doesn't fall off. But that's just me. You know what, sometimes maybe I like lazy fashion. I don't know. But if you like it and you wanna try it, grab a sweater, put it over the top of your blazer and have fun with that new chic look. So those are the nine trends that I wanted to show you. And just like me, go through the list, pick the ones that you really like. Pick the ones that you think that you will have fun recreating. And then if you come up with your own little unique way of wearing any of these things, Definitely do it. Don't let the fear of what somebody might say about your style stop you from absolutely embracing and having your own style. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. And please remember to like and follow because you never know whose outfit I'm gonna recreate and you never know what style trend I'm gonna talk about. So until next time, remember, wear what you want and I will see you on the next episode. Bye.